Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have two DIY Christmas projects for you guys. Let's get started. DIY number one. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have a glue stick from Dollar Tree. I also have a couple of tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. And I also have some paper gift tags, which are so, so cute from Dollar Tree. And I have a piece of scrap book paper. Actually came out a book of sheets, Christmas sheets from Dollar Tree. And I have a scrap piece of wood out of my wood stash that I painted white with apple barrel white paint. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to trace our wood plank with the scrapbook paper to get a size and a fit the wood plank. And I'm just using a pencil to do that with. Next thing, we're going to cut that piece out and get ready to attach it. Yes, attach it to your wood plank. And we're just gonna use some of the glue stick to do that with. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our little paper tag and take the scissors and cut the top off because there's a hole in the top for you to like hang it, you know, on a present or something. We're going to cut that off and we are going to take and place it in the center of our piece of plank wood. And what I'm going to um, do is use a tumbling towel block to raise it to give it that 3D effect glue it to the back of the tag and then glue that to the center of the um, plank wood. And we're just going to use hot glue for that, but you can use super glue or tacky glue, whatever you have. Okay, and I also did two simple bows. I used a piece of burlap and a piece of lace ribbon, both from Dollar Tree. I also put tumbling tower blocks on the back so it can withstand on its own. And I added a few red berries to the top of it. And I think this came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. DIY number two. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have one of those silver candle holders from Dollar Tree, a glass vase that I found at um, my local thrift store. I think I paid like 10 cents for it. And I have some um, berry picks and greenery picks from Dollar Tree. I also have some little roses, but I'm not going to use those. I also have some fairy lights from Dollar Tree and apple barrel paint in Kelly Green and Snow White. And these are some party place um, for you to do placemats um, on your tablescape. And I took the paint and I mixed it to get that particular color. And I'm going to give this candlestick a couple of coats of that paint. And now that it has dried, the next thing that I'm going to do is embellish my candlestick with the little pigs. I'd like to take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. You are so deeply appreciated. And to all my new subscribers, hello and welcome. And, of course, if you're new, just stopping by anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And now that that candlestick has been embellished, and you can embellish your candlestick any way you like with anything that your heart desires. I'm going to take those fairy lights and I'm going to place them down into the glass container. 
and I'm going to take that um, battery pack. I hate that Dollar Tree battery packs are so large, but I'm going to find a way to um, attach it to the back. Yes, the back of my lantern. Yes, I'm making a lantern. You know, and I see everybody with the lanterns and they create lanterns and you know how we do. I'm like, oh, I want me one. So here's my lantern that I created. And I'm gonna take that um, centerpiece, well not centerpiece, place setting tag and um, it came in a pack with maybe about six and I hot glued it to the top. And here I just dimmed the lights, turned it on so you can see. And I think this came out absolutely adorable. And there it is. Isn't it cute, y'all? Leave me a comment and let, you, let me know what you think. I hot glued that battery pack to the back of it. And I also hot glued the top to the top with a little hot glue. And I think this came out so, so cute. I love my little lantern. I finally have a lantern. This is a first for me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. And here's the final reveal. I had an empty space in my bedroom. And I was like, okay, I need to do something. Create something for this space. So this is where this is going, in an empty corner, empty space in my bedroom. Together, yes, I'm going to place them together. And I think they are adorable for that space. But I mean, you can do shelf sitters or um, entryway or end table, kitchen counter. I think this would be beautiful in any space. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you too can become a part of my YouTube family. And if so, don't forget to hit that notification bell, drop down, click all. YouTube will notify you when I upload a new. And always remember to get lost in what you love. And I love you guys to the moon and back. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.